Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Michael McCarvel, and this is Fun with Fallen Flags, episode 63. This is part five of the Vance Junction series. If you haven't seen the previous videos, uh, we're up to part five, and we're going through each of the structures at Vance Junction, Colorado, along the Rio Grande Southern, which was basically the line uh, at which point the um, there was a, a spur that ran off and went over to Telluride, but uh, at Vance Junction. It's a three-track uh, yard area, and uh, there's several buildings. You can see in the top photo, there's four of them right there. There's two more plus a trestle. So anyway, um, check out the previous videos, because we're not going to go through all the information in the previous videos, like staining and uh, uh, oil paint wash and, and uh, uh, paint weathering and that type of thing. Um, but we are going to weather this one using the hairspray method of uh, paint chipping uh, a lot more aggressively than the last episode, which was the boxcar. Uh, but if you are interested in some of that other material, definitely go check out the previous videos, including the boxcar one, because this structure is actually a lot like the boxcar. In fact, the instructions even say assembly is basically the same for this car as for the boxcar. So, you know. Um, for that reason, we're going to speed through some of this stuff, but I want to show you a lot of the detail because there is a lot of cool stuff in here. So anyway, this is the Bantam Model Works kit, BMW 135. This is the old uh, RPO baggage car body, which you can see in the photo in the bottom. Uh, it was formerly, it was a Rio Grande Southern number 150, formerly Denver and Rio Grande number 55. It was used as a shelter and supply sheds by section gangs of the Rio Grande Southern at Vance Junction. Uh, a lot like the boxcar, which we just finished. Um, this is the third kit in this um, uh, Rio Grande Southern uh, Vance Junction Outbuildings kit. So there's a total of four in this kit, so we're building number three. Um, like I said, it's essentially uh, like the previous one, uh, uh, part four in the video series. However, this in this uh, car has actually been here longer than the box car. Uh, we're going to more um, heavily weather it using the uh, hairspray paint chipping method because it's been deteriorated a little bit more than the box car. Um, also, it's a lot more interesting looking of a. Uh, I mean, the box car was basically a door with a couple windows on it, and that was it. Uh, this has baggage door on it. There's two doors in the front. There's windows. Uh, there's an entire storage area on the back side of it, and then it goes down a second floor from there, and there's a stair that goes down the back. Anyway, I'll show you all that as we progress, but um, just um, suffice it to say that this is a lot more interesting of a project than just the plain old boxcar. So it's good that they're, we're doing it in this order, but um, again, if you want to check out the paints that we're going to use, it's the same paints as the boxcar, it's the same staining. Uh, the uh, unfinished wood, unpainted wood, is going to get treated a lot like the uh, trestle, which is the uh, part two of the series. So anyway, um, once again, I want to thank the gentleman at um, the Friends of Cumbrus and Toltec Scenic Railroad for allowing me to use the photos for a historical perspective. It definitely allows us to look at what we're trying to recreate instead of just following a kit and looking at it and going like, ah, I hope it came out good. But, um, <laughs> so, um, other than that, it's, uh, I'm going to leave notes in the body below and, uh, let's go get, get going on building this kit. Um, if you are interested in checking out previous versions or, um, if you want to check out and get alerted when the next video comes up, because we're going to do the depot and the uh, passenger car and then the section house, the big two-story structure that you can see in the photo on the top there. Um, uh, definitely join the Facebook group. Uh, I'll be posting notices when those go out. And then subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you click on the bell icon to get alerts so that you can uh, see updates. But anyway, with all that said and out of the way, let's get started. Uh, we're going to go through this build a lot like we did the box car. And I'll just go ahead and show you the process and uh, leave notes. And then we'll uh, do some finished shots at the end. Let's get going.
that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we are headed right into another episode. So we've got a depot to build and then the section house. So um, if you have not already, please subscribe to the channel and uh, the Facebook group as well. And we're going to get going on the next video as soon as I log off. So I appreciate you guys watching and I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Take care.